that every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain this artist once we're grown up. And I agree with this statement wholeheartedly. I think there does not exist a child who doesn't love to draw. I started drawing when I was one year old, barely standing, holding on a wall for support. I used our white wallpapers as a canvas. I drew a single black line with a marker, winding it back and forth. My parents never got punished me for my wall art, which made me convinced that I have created something awesome. I felt good about my art. As I started to draw more, my parents continued to praise me, even if the canvas was the table and the medium was the raspberry yogurt. By the time I turned 13, and all my shelves and drawers were filled to the brim with whether it's sketchbooks, my parents realized that I will not become a lawyer or a dentist. Now, what I want to say here is that I was never got punished or discouraged from letting out my creativity. I was always supported and given freedom to draw, scribble and doodle whenever my heart desired. My parents never criticized my art, at least to my face. And that helped me to build confidence in my skills and my desire to keep going. Just think about it. If you're told over and over again that you're not able to do something, you're not enough good for it, your confidence may weaken and eventually shudder. More often than not, the roots of self-doubt take hold in our early childhood, when our actions are not taken seriously and our creativity outbursts under too much parental control. Right now, I'm at the stage of my life when I have to choose a university. And the issue I'm facing is much bigger than the childhood creativity freedom. It is the issue of society's acceptance of only those artists who have had received formal classical art education. My goal now is to prove that my drawings can be considered real, personal art, an expression of myself and not just a product of rigorous study. I definitely support classical art education. It helps you to learn the basics. But the problem is, especially with the most of Russian classical art uh, universities, is that you learn to draw according to a limited set of templates. You're taught to draw the same thing over and over again until you feel rich photographic precision in your lines and shadows. After years of hard work and memorization, you'll be able to produce a specific product. You will be able to draw a good art. But will your art ever become more than just good? Will you be able to create something personal and original? What if academics was never your thing? How does an artist who haven't received formal classical art education can find recognition in society? Now, I'm not here to help you to form an opinion on classical art education. I'm here to say that you doesn't need to have one. Everyone has a right to call themselves an artist. If you can see the beauty in the mundane, if you can relish to the glory of the world, if you want to share your perspective to other people, then you're already an artist. And it doesn't matter whether you have years of studying or you're just picking up a paintbrush for the first time since you were five, no one should be able to stop you from creating. It took me a while to understand that a critical audience will always find a piece of art they like within a given exhibit. As we partake in different contexts, we form an opinion a certain taste of styles and expressions. Life itself changes our perspective and shifts it over and over. Sometimes a person who seems hardened and intimidating has a soft spot for naive and simplistic paintings. When I started my own project, such as drawing comics by hand or on my drawing pad, making greeting cards and doing illustrations for the newspaper, I realized that I have an audience of my own. People I didn't know started coming up to me and complimenting me on my art. And that was the moment when I realized that my art has a right to exist and I have a right to express myself. As a child, I received support from my parents. And right now, as a teenager, I'm starting to receive the support from completely strangers. And this is an amazing catalyst for creativity. 
Now, at the end of this talk, I want you to realize that we are all different here. And we have a different ways of appreciating art and making it a part of our life. Maybe I was born so that I could use this classical art education to portray the beauty of tradition. Maybe I was born so that I could flip this education around and use it my personal style, which may seem to some of us naive and narrow. But whether my medium and my style may be, please don't kill the artist in me. That's what I would like to say to admission committee at my future university. Don't kill the artist in me. Let me realize my potential. Let me show the world the beauty that I can see in it. There may be someone in this room who desperately needs to be seen as an artist. Who knows? Maybe to you I'm just this wannabe naive artist, just like Chagall was to his contemporaries. The same Chagall who later painted the ceiling of Paris Opera Garnier. <laughs>